for how to do an oil change on a E450 or E350 6.0 uh, diesel motor, turbo diesel. So here, right there, is going to be your drain for the oil. This is going to be your air filter canister, I'm sorry, oil filter canister. It's going to be a, one of those paper filters that goes inside here. And then there's going to be a rubber seal that you're going to have to replace around there. This right here is going to use a, um, a 36 millimeter socket. And then your uh, drain is going to use a 19 millimeter socket. Make sure you have a uh, container that can hold at least 15 quarts of oil. So guys, first thing you're going to loosen the drain. What's nice is that you don't even have to lift this thing um, with any kind of jack or anything because there's plenty of clearance underneath. So go ahead and just break it and then just by hand you're going to loosen it this way. Make sure that's open so that it doesn't start going all over the place and then go ahead and take this out. It's also a, cr a crush washer right there. I don't know if you see it. Um, it's best to replace that. You can reuse it, but I wouldn't recommend it. So there's your oil. doesn't look too clean actually so you're gonna keep draining it um, let it drain all the way uh, probably will take a few minutes for it to drain it's gonna start raining here in a bit so I'm gonna try to finish this up before then <sighs> Um, yeah, so next you can go ahead and undo the uh, the actual oil filter canister compartment. Um, what's actually nice also, guys, is that the drain plug has a magnetized tip so that it collects all the metal particles at the bottom of the oil pan. So you can just go ahead and stick it on in the bottom so you don't lose that thing. Um, next, so we're undoing 36 millimeter socket again for this oil filter container. So there's also a drain on the bottom, but I'm not doing that just to save time. I know it's going to be a little bit messy, but um, I'll do my best to kind of not have oil go all over the place. All right, guys, there you go. There's the uh, oil filter removed. So now let's get the new filter and gasket, put every, let everything drain, clean everything up and put it back. Alright guys, so here's the old filter. This part with the, the tip will go towards the up side. This clips into the housing, the oil filter housing. Okay. The other side goes to the bottom not the other way. So all the oil's drained out. Next, all we're gonna do is just refill the system. I'm using the uh, Liquid Molly 5W40 uh, since we're down here in Florida. So uh, thicker weight oil is always good for the uh, warmer climates. In the colder climates, you're gonna wanna use a slightly thinner oil, maybe like a 5W30. Uh, it takes uh, 15, uh, 15 liters, so one, two, three, it's five in each. The fill is gonna be 
right here. So you're going to fill it and then just make sure to check the level, which is going to be right here.